Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on JavaScript and Canvas basics. Uh, we've talked about, uh, in some of our other tutorials, we've talked about the rectangle tool and the line tool and the arc tool to make circles. What about polygons? If I want to make a triangle, if I want to make a pentagon or a hexagon or something like that, or even just a trapezoid, just any something, anything out of the ordinary. Well, the answer is you have to use the line to tools to work to do that for you. So you're going to just create a path and then fill that path. So let's just do let's do a triangle really quick, just so you can kind of see what that looks like. Uh, so let's go start with our context variable. So I'll say move to. And a triangle is three sides, you remember? So I'm going to go ahead and choose a starting point. So I'll say over 100 and down 200. And that's our starting point. So I'm going to move it up to the right something. So I'm going to go CTX line 2. And say that goes over, let's say over 200 and up. So that would be up to 100. And then another. So that's the first line. So the second side of our triangle. I'll keep going over 300, but down to 350. And then the third side would take us back to the beginning. So that is the very first point that we had, 100, 200. Now, remember, anytime we're doing paths, it's a good habit to always start that path. So let's go begin path. And down here, we can go to TX close path. Now, if I hit run, nothing's going to happen yet because it's just a path. A path is a set of points. We actually need to apply a stroke or a fill to it. So let's just go CTX fill. And I can hit run. So there you go. We've got a triangle. Now, if you don't like the triangle, you can go back and edit your points. So I, let's say this one that I want over here a little bit further. So I'm going to go change that one to uh, 400 instead. I hit run. And I can kind of test it to see. Uh, if I change my mind, I wanted to have some sort of, you know, pentagon or, or something like that. You know, five sides. So I can keep going. I can just add more to it. So line two. Oops, I would need to go up above here. So make sure I get to this right spot. I don't want to go back to the beginning yet. So CTX line two. And I'll start working my way back. So I'm going to go back here to like 300 and uh, let's go 350. See what that looks like. So it's coming back here. And then I'm going to add one more point over here just so I have five sides. And you can see that we can do it. So CTX line two. And I'll say 200, 300. So there we go. So we got a five sides. Now, obviously, that's not a regular pentagon where all the sides are equal. But you can still see you're going to have as many sides as you want. It can be regular or irregular. Whatever, whatever you want to make out of it. So again, how do you make polygons? You really, the only way to do it is to use the line two tools. So, all right, have fun. 